don't know why you thought it was going to be nothing but obstacles today and hopefully taking a shortcut to get there in one piece i think i'm off course there's no path there is there it just turned into a nightmare <laughs> non-stop problems morning guys i'm mark g welcome to today's vlog where i'll be out on an adventure on the saturday long run of the week um, i'm heading over the county border into nottinghamshire to one of the highest points in nottinghamshire uh, where supposedly you can view over five different counties from the top of the hill it's a place called silver hill and uh, there's a special monument on top of the hill uh, which i've never seen before and to get there i've allowed my commute app uh, to plot a route which is the most direct route <laughs> so no doubt it'll be taking me through fields across people's land all on public footpaths but they won't be the most commonly used ones this time of the year probably I expect them to be overgrown and difficult <laughs> so that's part of the adventure it's gonna be a tricky journey but hopefully when I get to Silver Hill it'll all be worth it I love doing stuff like this I mean trail running in itself is always good fun but when you're exploring somewhere new uh, plotting a path almost as the crow flies to get to somewhere you've never seen before you don't know what to expect that just doubles the fun it's about eight o'clock saturday morning so i could be in bed could be just lounging around at home watching whatever the algorithm throws at me but instead i'm out finding somewhere new having an adventure and hopefully getting to see somewhere really cool at the end of it so let's go it's due to be one of the hottest days of the year so far today with highs of 27 degrees this afternoon so i've set off early while it's still relatively cool and cloudy maybe about 12 degrees at the moment though by the time i finish this uh, it's probably going to be about 17 <laughs> so yeah it's going to be a warm one i think brambles and nettles are going to be some of the main obstacles today i've worn my uh, calf guards so chances are my knees and lower thighs are going to be stung to death by the time i get home which is always fun at least my lower legs should live to see another day right survived the first obstacle which was that nettly path crossed over the road and now i'm on a different one <laughs> a little bit wider thankfully so the nettles can't quite reach where i'm walking or running which is a bonus explain that I'm heading onto a, a lane I've never been on before um, I checked my watch to see the map and where I was going and realized it seemed to have stopped and it was just showing the time like it wasn't recording anything my map had disappeared <laughs> oh dear so I started the same commute route again hoping that it would allow me to carry on from part way down and not try and direct me back to the start luckily it seems okay but I'm about to head onto dark lane <laughs> sounds inviting <laughs> so I'll see where that leads this dark lane is actually quite runnable and clear <laughs> I don't know why you thought it was going to be nothing but obstacles today what you like
okay I'm familiar with this part of the Five Pips Trail the trouble is <laughs> my route to Silver Hill it could follow this <laughs> and another nice wide trail it'll take me an extra couple of kilometres to get there but it won't be half the adventure <laughs> plus 18 kilometres is long enough for a long run for me at the moment so in a short while it's going to take me off this nice flat runnable route through a field and through many more fields and hopefully taking a shortcut to get there in one piece fingers crossed okay there's a route down there which may join up with where I want to be not sure I don't think that was there last time I came my route seems to just pop around the corner first there we go this is all new to me anyway might use the steps and the bridge when I come back that looks more fun I think I'm off course started running into this field I think I'm meant to be going diagonally across it The purple line, which is my planned route, goes diagonally straight across that. There's no path there, is there? So maybe people have made their own way around the outside. This is the first big obstacle. There's a rabbit. I need to be in the far corner of that field. My navigation's telling me I'm off course because I'm going around the edge instead of straight across. Although the public footpath on commute does go straight across seems like everyone's just using the outskirts of the field instead which isn't too bad so far it's passable nice and clear really saves being in that jungle <laughs> right almost back on course now I can see the post that marks the end of this section of path nice views from up here though I'm getting gradually higher and higher as we go Let's see what's next having to keep an eye on the map here because the path I'm following I could have happily just carried on walking down there but it looks like it's a bit of a right turn here so maybe maybe that's a public footpath over there I can see a yellow arrow ah, maybe I should have come through that gate there just didn't notice it and then across here <laughs> I'll know for next time I think I can hear the M1 so I live in Derbyshire and I've got to cross the county border to get to Silver Hill today over into Nottinghamshire so I can uh, climb up one of the highest points in the county uh, Silver Hill's about just over 204 metres high uh, so it's in the top two <laughs> for the county I think uh, with great views so I'm going to have to cross the motorway which almost divides the counties in, down the middle say right we're here <laughs> that means we've reached somewhere I recognize which is the village of Tibshelf so this is just as we're going into Nottinghamshire um, I think uh, when we leave Tibshelf we will be in the next county and we'll cross over the motorway but it's got of course it's going to take me on the direct route not the nice easy one following the road and the path and here's the turn off
Right, turn right at this fork. Okay, over the motorway we go. police car just drove past me and then turned around and came past again he saw me filming the motorway hopefully he uh, realizes I'm just an idiot with a camera <laughs> public footpath so I'm allowed here oh nettles made it someone else on the path so it's always a good sign. I'm starting to be fairly sure I built up the obstacles a bit too much. <laughs> the landowners around here seem to be really considerate with keeping the path clear. Apart from that one just off the Five Pits Trail where there was an easy alternative. It's been pretty good so far. No nettle stings <laughs> at this point. Look at this. They've mown just up to the point where you leave the field on the next path. Bless them. Now uh, this is the next path. <laughs> uh -huh. Couple of nettles in here. Right. My heart rate went up because I was holding my breath trying to avoid the nettles. Do I go left or right? Good question. Maybe right. I kind of want to go across the field. That may be Silver Hill in the distance. It's called Silver Hill Woods, the area, and there's lots of trees there. I'll try this way. See if I'm still on the purple line on Kamut. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a bit trickier. What was I saying about the landowners around here and no nettle stings? Oh no. <laughs> oh. This is not going well. Oh wow, Nettle City. Am I still on the route or am I doing this for no reason? That's the question. I'm spinning round and I'm somewhere near a zigzag line. Yeah, according to the map, that where I'm heading carries on straight across the field. But yeah, there's maybe some slightly squashed crops there, but I can't see a proper path. Must be another one of those where people have regularly gone around the outside of the field instead. And that's now the new route. But I'm back on course, hooray! <laughs> Apparently I'm off course again. I kept going straight through the last field you saw me in and it kind of gets to a corner so the hedge cuts off the end of the field and there's no way through the hedge. But the route has me going, <coughs> excuse my hay fever, straight across that field and into the woods over there. Let's see if this gets me there. I think it does. Right, pleased to report I seem to have escaped that maze. The route around the hedge did get me to the road I'm meant to be on. Or oh, I'm meant to be crossing this road. Welcome to Stanley. Uh, welcome to the gate in Stanley. A bit of a puzzle there with me. Some kind of puzzle you have to figure out to get through the gate there. It had three different locking mechanisms, including this chain 
that you had to kind of thread a rod through a big link <laughs> and yeah eventually it'll stay out not quite as daft as I look a bit more sensible at this end of the field oh very tall steps though I can see Hardwick Hall on the top of the hill there that's one of the sights you meant to be able to see from top of Silver Hill I'm not running so I will just twist my ankle did anyone notice that as soon as I said oh the obstacles aren't actually too bad today it just turned into a nightmare <laughs> non-stop problem well done me commentator's curse so I think I go over here and then right hello nettles my old friend please don't sting me here to get Whoa. Jesus Christ, my foot slipped down that hole. Oh, I had to drag myself out with my left foot before I disappeared. Ow. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that, uh, that'll have got the heart rate up. If I hadn't managed to get my weight onto my left leg just in time, I don't know where I would have ended up. <laughs> wow. My lower back felt that as well to suddenly tighten up to get me out of there wow I'll be wary of that on the way back singing a song about nettles as I disappeared <laughs> hi have you met me I'm very sensible hardly ever get into any scrapes <laughs> Okay, almost done with this section of fields, just about to come out onto Silver Hill Lane, which I imagine is the way the sensible people get to Silver Hill. <laughs> road for a little while now. I have a feeling the car park that visitors use for Silver Hill Woods is just on the left down here if I remember rightly from scanning the map before I set off. Here we go, visitors car park. Of course the most direct route takes me off the nice groomed paths and onto this. <laughs> Thanks Kamut. These woods look nice and cool. I'm glad I set off uh, with just shorts and t-shirt. Melting now. Just coming around the corner, got my first view of the statue at the top of the hill. Looking good, sir. There's a Davy lamp, and I believe the statue's called Testing for Gas. Should 
tribute to the miners of the Nottinghamshire coal fields uh, by Anthony Dufort. And these are the principal collieries between 1819 and 2005. That's a lot to have closed down over that period. Let's check out the views. I'm supposed to be able to see five counties from here. A little bit misty in the distance there. But yeah, I think I'm seeing quite a long way. And on an even clearer day, we'll be able to pick out a few different features. Very nice. So, I'm going to head off home now. I won't put you through the trauma of watching me fight my way all the way back home. So, unless anything magical or tragical happens on the way, that's what Hayes Outdoors says on his videos. It's a way with words, that lad. Magical or tragical. Hopefully nothing tragical happens. If I do happen to capture anything magical, I'll put it in after this. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the, the journey to Silver Hill. And I'll catch you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye.